Was our father, Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, a Jew, a Christian, or Muslim? All three major world religions, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, portray the Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, as an inspiring example of someone who submitted himself entirely to God and worshipped him. Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, plays a prominent role in history and religion. The Holy Quran shares stories of Prophet Abraham's firm and steadfast belief in God, as one who called and preached the oneness of God and rejected the belief of idolatry. He later faced various difficult tests and hardships God placed before him, testing his belief and loyalty. The Holy Quran states that Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, was neither a Jew nor a Christian. Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, could not have been a Jew. The term Judaism originates from the name Judah, who resided in the land of Judea and was the grandson of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. How could Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, be a Jew if he was born before his grandson for which Judaism is named? Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, could not have been Christian, since Christianity follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, and Prophet Abraham was born before Jesus Christ. Well, the question arises, what was the religion of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, and the religion of all the previous messengers and prophets of God up until Prophet Adam, peace be upon them, if it could not have been Judaism or Christianity? It was Islam. Islam, by definition, means the act of submitting fully to God. This act was the way of life God, the Almighty, prescribed to all the previous messengers, prophets, and humanity. Islam is the voluntary submission or surrender to the will of God, and in exchange one would acquire peace and contentment in this life and the hereafter. The Holy Quran states that Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. By definition, a Muslim is someone who submits wholly to God, and Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, indeed submitted himself to God. People of the Book Why do you dispute with us about Abraham, even though the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed until after the time of Abraham? Do you not understand? Behold, you are those who have disputed greatly concerning matters which you knew. Why are you now disputing about matters that you know nothing about? Allah knows it, whereas you do not know. Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian. He was a Muslim, wholly devoted to God. And he certainly was not amongst those who associate others with Allah in his divinity. Surely the people who have the best claim to a relationship with Abraham are those who followed him in the past, and presently, this prophet and those who believe in him. Allah is the guardian of the men of faith. Quran, chapter 3, verses 65 to 68. Islam has always stood as the only universal message of God, as all messengers and prophets, including Prophet Abraham, peace be upon them, were considered Muslims, i.e., those who submitted their will to God the Almighty.